حتی خب ما آروم احتساب کرده بودیم به قول چیزی با بچه ها نه صدایی نه چیزی احتساب قضایی که ما کردیم خاطبش همین بود که اینا حمله ور شدن به ما دیگه یه جای قفس بانندی بود که با قول همونجا گذاشتیم اونو که روی زمین هم میخوابیدیم ما خب بالاخره انسانیم باید اعتراض کنیم من مثلا تموم فامیلا را بردم همه را بردم فقط من را گذاشتن اینجا هیفده ماه که اینجا آمران تا کسی که یه جایی بره توی بیابون برهودی گیر بکنه که هیچ که به دادش نمیرسه سوزن ها خب به نوید با مو کم پیداش کردم نخم خب از زمین لباس ها کشیدم بیرون ده دوازه باری سوزن من فشار دارم از ایور لبم از ایور لبم در آوردم باز هم اولین نفری بودم که واقعا تو کریسمس من لبم دوختم من خواستم چشمه هم هم بدوزم In terms of the session today, you have as much time or as little time as you want to get to know the sand, to touch the sand. You might want to make something, move it, just see how it feels. I like the sound, you know? The sound? Yeah, because I guess the sound, you know, it reminds me of the waves, mm. yeah. People who seek asylum are continually demanded to tell their story in a kind of chronological, factual order. And when I work with people around Sample, it's about telling the stories that are most important to them in their own way, without any external idea of what should be told. They're told by the detention system that they can only eat their meal at this time. They can only have a choice of these two things. And when people are working in the sand tray, uh, they are able to follow their own personal ethics and choice. For some people, they tell me after a couple of sessions that uh, the nightmares are reducing a little bit, that they're actually able to sleep a little bit. So when I hear things like that, you know, that's the feedback that has me continuing to offer it. When the boat stopped, everything stopped. Your future stopped. <laughs> Your thinking stopped. Everything stopped. Doing this picture, where does that take you in your thoughts and your feelings? It takes me for the night I was I was floating on the on the sea. It was about um, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. It was very dark, and I, all I could see was the blue ocean with the blue sky. I kind of felt black was my brightest color. Mm -hmm. Everyone can make this journey, but maybe little will overcome, like, you know, the, the sadness and the darkness of the moment of being on the water. When the boat went down, the Navy people also fell in the water. Yeah, everyone Everybody. was in the water. It looked like a glass thrown from a high mountain. Mm. Like, you know, it was 
like everyone, it didn't matter if you were like boarding that boat or you were Navy, we were all together. together. And while we were boarding there, I could see the sharks because we were middle of the water. We could see the sharks, like the snakes, like every animal that moving in the wolf, in the, the sea. And then this guy from the immigration, who's, he came in. All I could hear was, you will never settle in Australia. That's all I could hear. And I was just, I looked at him and I was like, I just thought as long as I breathe, I will reach my goals. What's that one? Oh. Whoa. Very pretty. Can you find more? What sort of sand it is? This is sand from the beach. Oh, sand. Yes, yeah, uh, sand that I collected. I don't know if you've ever been um, uh, out on Christmas Island, but this is from uh, Muriel Beach. Have you been to Muriel Beach before? No. No, it's a very, very small beach and you can only get to it when the tide is out, when the water is out. Oh, OK. Is this in Christmas Island, Muriel Beach? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can I get some green stuff? Of course. Wait. Go for it. I do remember one day of peace in my country. Every day, everything happening. You don't remember one day no. of peace? And also, the country goes like this. No nature, like, it's all sand and the buildings destroyed and, you know? Mm -hmm. So, the difference between this and this is too much. Despite that, people don't give up. No, I don't give up myself, never. If I give up, I'll finish. I'll be finished. Mm. I can't do anything. Mm. I'll be mad. So, mm. yeah. It's really hard for me. Like, I never been away one lunch or breakfast or dinner. I always, always at home with around family, eat together and, you know. But now it's like, it's like almost nearly four years. Like, uh, like I didn't celebrate anything with them. It's a bit hard. Indefinite? Like, can you imagine trying to get your head around? No certainty. You, like, the day becomes the month, becomes the year, becomes the decade. 
when time is like that, your whole mental faculties start to break down. Your sense of a self and identity starts to fragment. It's the first place I've worked where even though you're doing really good therapy, you're seeing them decline. You're seeing them going from being fit and capable to talking about suicide ideation. But I tell you what, when your life is the only thing that you have choice over in the end, you probably contemplate it too. You know, like, I've had maybe two appointments turn up so far. And no dialogue. So it's gradually being reduced, isn't it? Mm. At least two years ago, three years ago, we felt we could make a difference. The shutters are down, aren't they? Yeah. You lock a traumatised person up in a prison long enough, how are they going to react? How are they going to respond? And, and someone it, that doesn't have mental illness, like, histories yeah. or even in their families, you yeah. put them in indefinite detention. And it, has to, it has to just cut through everybody's yeah. emotional and psychological state. It just diminishes everybody, doesn't it? It sounds awful, but sometimes, yeah, it's hard to come in because I don't know that I want to see the people that I care about um, worse than the previous week. There's the building I go to the meetings every week. And next to that is medical. And next to that is white one where they have like a full lockdown individual cells for people who have psychosis or are non-compliant and have done something in protest. I haven't been in white one. I've just worked with a lot of people who've been in white one. They talk about how they, um, it's a very small space with a single bed and obviously there's nothing in there that could, they could harm themselves with. And they say that they turn the air conditioning up really strong or not at all. To break people. هیچ وقت یادم نمیره اون شبی که یکی از دوستای سمیمیم بود تو کریسمس آیلند پسر کوچیکی داشت که همسن پسرم بود 
ساعتی که می بردن خیلی بد بود صبح زود می بردن یه خانواده ساعت پنج صبح از خواب بلند کردن هیچ وقت اون سحنه رو یادم می میره که پنج صبح از خواب پریدیم فهمیدیم که اینا رو دارن می برن پسر من از خواب پرید اجازه خدافزی نداشتیم بچهش از خواب بیدار شده بود ترسیده بود شلوارش رو خیس کرد نمیتونستم باش خدافزی کنم فقط از پشت فنسا دست دوستم رو گرفتم خیلی بد بود هیچ وقت این سحنه رو یادم نمیره که انقدر بد ما رو حتی جا به جا میکردن به کمپ های دیگه فقط من میخوام بگم درسته مثلا ما غیر قانونی وارد این کشور شدیم ولی حق ما نبود این همه فشار روحی و استرس واقعا حق ما نبود As we've talked before it's not illegal to seek asylum and it's not acceptable to experience punishment for requesting safety and protection But um, Mohammed, I mean, I've been working with him for a while now. And we... They didn't say where, but I can only just guess because there was, we did hear that there was a transfer of violence over to Manus today, so it could have been... Oh, no, really? Right? Yeah. We've, we've put so many recommendations that he's not OK. He's not OK to be transferred. He needs to go to the mainland. Yeah, I know, I know. They wouldn't confirm anything, though, of course. The whole experience of working on this island is... <sighs> people disappeared. And it's just not acceptable that people disappear. I just hope that the people that... You know, we never had that opportunity to... to finish up and to say farewell. I hope they know that I never stopped thinking about them. While I've been here on the island, I've watched with horror as our respect for human life has unraveled so quickly, spiraling down and bringing all kinds of harm to everyone who's tangled in the system. And the island isn't alone. It's happening in other places. My fear is that the situation here on this island has become our new normal. We have accepted it.